Hello people, welcome to this video. So, I am just going to tell you that I have found out that you guys are most likely very, 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 very confused. Like very, 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 very confused. And I get that. I understand why you're confused. I am too. Well, I'm not confused, but you get what I mean. Anyway. I have come to the rescue to help you figure out how to do this. So get ready. Get ready for this video. I hope you're ready because this is the first informational video about Triad. I hope it's good and yeah. So stay tuned, like, subscribe, and all that random stuff if you want to. If you don't want to, you don't have to, but you know what to do. So anyway, um, so what this thing is when you first join the game, it's a notice. Like when you're doing the game, it shows up in notice, and then you see there's this tutorial. It says, ooh, a tutorial. And then you start scrolling, you realize you have to read like six paragraphs. Okay, so the reason why you have to read six paragraphs is because you wouldn't know how to do this, because this game is going to be a bit complex, and it's a lot different from other games. So you're going to need to know how to do it. It's not that simple, because this is mm, a little bit of an original concept. So yeah, it's not going to be just like this okay so oh bye person bye bye gabriel anyway um so we are i'm going to end up changing that in a few days like if you check the updates in the video or the updates in the triard um uh if you go to the triard page and check its um future updates you'll see all the updates that are coming and the one that i have there right now is that there will be a visual tutorial yes a visual tutorial by January 20th I'm saying that because it's true on January by January 20th I will have a visual tutorial instead of just a boring regular tutorial just so you know it's gonna be way easier it's not gonna be as hard that's by Friday this week mm -hmm. Fr Friday this week probably like by 10 p.m. Friday this week 10 p.m. East EST or Eastern time you could check what that is for your time but yeah okay so that's what that is now if you want to know how to play the game so far right now since it's in beta and it's gonna be in beta beta or whatever for the next little while so if you want to know what's go how to do this listen in okay listen in because I'm gonna tell you how to do it okay so basically when you join the game you go ahead and wait and then you click the play button it's pretty cool cutscene then the tutorial comes up if you don't want any of that, that's fine. You can click close. But you have to listen to this video first. Because, if, because yes. If the, um, if the video tutorial is already out, then you could just watch, then you could just, I mean, if the visual tutorial is already out, you can already click that. But if it's all these paragraphs that you have to read, you can close out of that right now if you want to listen to me tell you what to do. So, when you're in the game, basically what's going to happen is there are, is the big basis that you need to do right now during this beta okay so what you need to do is you need to walk around don't go to the bridge do not go to the bridge that thing on the bridge is something you need to watch out for okay watch out for that right now because if you look at the top right of your screen there's this thing called crowns if you see that little thing it looks like a little crown on the top right of your screen and it has a zero or a number or something that zero is telling you how many crowns you have if you look at that thing on the bridge don't walk onto it or else you'll die it's not worth it you look at that thing on the bridge and it says you can get um it says you need 15 crowns it says 15 crowns that means you need 15 crowns to get across there if you don't have 15 crowns it will kill you i mean if you don't have 10 crowns it says 10 crowns if you die if you die from that you lose 10 crowns and if you only have, if you have less than 10 crowns, you lose those anyway. So if you have 5 crowns and you walk into it, you lose all your 5 crowns. Because you didn't have enough to walk into it. So, yeah, that's sad. So, you're going to want to raise up your crowns. Now, how you do that is you must stay on your side and look along the path. You'll see crowns. If you don't see them right now and there's people already collecting them and you hear like ding sounds... That's just people collecting their crowns. So you need to get to those crowns before them. There is a red crown with a red beam. You'll be able to see the crowns really easily. Red crown with a red beam. That's Hannah's crown. That's worth one crown. 
Then there's Rarita's crown, that's green. The green crowns are worth two. So red's worth one, greens are worth two, and then there's a Quadessa's crown, that's the dead queen's crown. They're yellow, or gold, I would say gold, because gold's a nice color, way better than yellow. That's why I switched my favorite color from yellow to gold, but anyway, um, that, those crowns are worth five. So red worth one, or green worth two, yellow worth five. That's what you need to remember. And then there's the blue and pink crowns. The Cecita's crowns. She is the queen that overthrew the old queen. She, her crowns, have a beautiful aura around them. You will know when you see those crowns. And they're blue and pink, and they are worth 10. So, um, that's like basically multicolor. So if you just remember multicolor, that's 10. So, yes, one more time. Red's, red's um, one, green's two, um, gold's five, and then multicolored or blue slash pink or I'd say cotton candy is worth is worth ten. So yeah, that's awesome. So anyway, <coughs> moving on to this, you can collect those crowns until you get ten, and then once you get a cross, okay, you could whenever when you get a cross or when you collect ten crowns, skip to this part. Okay, this is when you now need to start watching the tutorial again. So, we're watching this, you're watching me, and right now, as of now, you should have 10 crowns. So now you walk across the bridge, and guess what? You're on the other side! Whoa! So now, there is about, I'd say, 14 more crowns you can collect here. Um, hopefully you can collect them before anybody else collects them. But there's 14 more crowns you can, le can collect over here. Um, you can collect all these different crowns, they're great, you can get up, but, yeah, you gotta raise some money, because if you walk all the way to the left, like, all the way to the left from, um, where you're going, where you are, you know, I might even just show you this, watch this, so, if you go from the bridge that you were at, and you walk over here, okay, you're just watching my screen right now, you follow me across the bridge, and you go this way, we're going over here, you're like, ooh, what's this? What's this? Oh, grab that crown real quick. What's this over here? What's this? <gasps> Whoa. Oh my gosh. It's this girl. This girl. She's moving. And it's 158 crowns. <gasps> Jeez, that's a lot. Well. Let me go back to my spot now, so then now you know where you are. Um, that's what you have to save up for. You see, that girl over there, she is going to give you a lot, okay? She's going to be the girl you want to go to all the time. She is Rarita. She has the stuff. She has what you need, okay? She has what you need. So, basically what I'm saying is, um, you see your crowns? What are you going to waste them on? Okay? That's a big question. What are you going to waste those crowns on? What are those things for, anyway? What are they for? Well, you go to that girl over there. Her name's Rarita. You talk to her. She's amazing, I swear. The animation on her is crazy. So, those 158 crowns are worth it just to talk to her. So, in this beta, beta, beta version, there is nothing you can get from her yet. There's nothing you can get from her. But, in the future, in around a month, like I said, you're going to be able to buy characters from her. And what I mean by buying characters? What do I mean by buying characters, you say? What the heck? That sounds a little, that sounds a little risky. Risque? A little weird? Well, just to get you on that, if you go ahead and check out the thing on the top right of your screen, and it looks like a backpack, and you click it, there's this thing on your screen that pops up, and it says, search characters. Huh? What's that? Search characters. Hmm. Search, search. Nothing's happening. Maybe I should search that girl. Nothing's happening. Well, guess what? You have nothing in your backpack. That's where you store your characters from Marita. Now, once again, you're asking me, how does that solve the problem of you literally buying people? That's so random. Well, guess what? Um, guess what? Um, those... Those people that you buy, they are the thing in the game, okay? So, those people you buy from Marita, they are the thing, okay? Now, ignore all the stuff that I just said. When you go to Marita, 
she tells you that it these photographs she takes photographs magical photographs she's a amazing photographer she talks about that and guess what she means by that she means she is going to have a shop she says she's going to have a shop named the burning cabin where you can buy photographs from her magical photographs that capture a copy of someone's soul so she could sell you basically anyone's soul which means you can buy um these characters that you could talk to and learn lore about i'll have intense dialogue that you can read and click and talk back and forth with the character learn all their lore learn how they are and guess what soon enough you're gonna be able to trade those characters with people and once those characters goes off sale or something people are gonna want them once those characters once people don't have much crowns to have and they want those characters they are going to go ahead and be like hey do you think i could trade hannah for rarita and then those people will be like, no, I don't want to trade Hannah for Rita. Hannah's amazing. Grr, rough, rough, grr. Ignore that. But that's just how some people are going to be like. They're going to be like, no, I'm not trading her. She's too slay. So you're going to want to have all those characters because you're going to love them. You're, they're going to be close to you. You're going to be like, yes, I want Rita because she's my favorite. And then they're going to be like, no, no, no. You're going to be like, no, you're not taking Hannah because she's amazing too. And... Yeah, that's how it's going to get down to it because people are going to want their characters. They're going to need them and these are going to be the the like un, the like all the rage. Like these are going to be what people have, what people buy. They're like yes, what they want, what they even save up crowns for. So yeah. You see what I mean sort of? You're going to want to have enough crowns for these characters. You're going to want to save them up. You're going to want to go to Rarita and buy. So you're going to want to like yeah. Yes. Now, you ask, why does that help with the beta? Why does that help with the beta, huh? Why does that help with the beta? Please don't leave yet, just listen. Why does that help with the beta, okay? Sorry if this is an odd tutorial, but I need to keep going with this. Why does that help with the beta? Well, when you talk to Rita, she tells you about all this stuff. She tells you, like, yeah, she tells you about her and all of her stuff. But then she goes on to asking you for donations, okay? 75, 73 Robuck donation. Robuck? Robuck? You want take Robuck? No! You not take Robuck. Well, guess what? Those Robux can help you later on. When you buy that game pass, she gives you a badge. And that badge later on, when she opens up her cabin, will give you a discount on the characters. That's one thing. And when you're saving up crowns, it's just fun. If you don't have enough money to buy that game pass and you don't think you'll ever have enough or be able to ask your mom and dad for money or just, like, get it yourself if you're, like, if you got money, then just, like, it's for fun. And, yeah, it's tree art. But, boom, you're going to want to have enough crowns saved up for when a character does come out so then you can, like, buy them or you can, like, have enough money to even go inside of that area to see the what characters you can buy from her so once you have 158 you can when the character releases you're going to need to have 158 to even talk to rarita and see what characters you can buy so that's why i'm telling you this that's why i'm saying you should be prepared because in around a month or so within a month's timeline there will be characters to buy so like it's worth it and it's what you're going to want to do um yeah, this video is giving a lot more than that visual tutorial well. But anyway, um, anyway, anyway, now, um, to get quicker crowns, if you want quicker crowns, you're going to want to look at my screen. You're going to want to go back across the bridge, okay? There's something over here that's worth it for you. So you're over here, you're across the bridge, and you go over here and you see this thing glowing in the distance. You're like, what is this? You're watching my screen, right? Good. Please watch my screen. You're going across this, and you're like, what is this over here? And there's something, and you have, like, crowns saved, and you're like, what is this? And you see it's 51 crowns you need. Oh, I'm so glad I have enough. <laughs> I have 52. Ha, ha, ha. I'm so good. I'm so good. Anyway, ignore that. Um, 51 crowns. You walk in here, and you're like, okay. And then it, it teleports you somewhere. Well, what's going on? <gasps> And you get teleported to this place. And you're like, what is this? 
Huh? What is this? Well, this is called Lost Memories. And when you start walking down here, you're going to see that there are extra crowns. Extra crowns. So as you can see, there's a Sasita crown. The multicolored crown, like I said, you could immediately tell. You grab it, and it gives you ten. Ten crowns. Boom. And there's more and more and more as you keep going. And it does end in the end. Like, there is an end to this area. But when there's, like, not many people walking inside of Lost Memories, you should totally go in here and, like, stand by one of the spawn areas that these spawn at and grab them before other people get them. Because this is a really, this is another easy way to grind crowns and to get up enough so that you can go to talk to Rita and be able to have enough for characters. So yeah, this is the basis so far that we have of the game. I'm gonna add way more updates in the um, in the uh, uh, in the description of the game of this game. So I would recommend going to the description of this video, going to the game, clicking the link to the game, and go ahead and check out um. The description of the game and see what the next updates are so then you know what's going on and you know where the horror aspect is going to start coming in i'll probably make another video on um what's going to go on with horror and how horror is going to finally come back and be implemented back into the game and be there for you to be like mouth watering over this like yes mm -hmm. yeah and i worked really hard in this game as you can probably tell so yeah i hope you are ready and I will see you guys later. I'm probably going to quickly, um, I would totally reset my character. Respawn. Yar. Okay, there we go. Ooh, crown. But yeah, this is it. Sorry that this video is going a little bit longer. I'm just trying to get back here so that I can say goodbye to you guys. Okay. Awesome. Okay, guys, I hope you guys have an amazing day, and I hope I to see you guys later. Why is the music on? Oh, there we go. I turned the music off. Okay. <laughs> also, whenever you die, um, the music, uh, you need to turn the music back off. Sorry about that. I think. Anyway, sometimes, maybe, maybe not. Anyway, see you guys later. Bye bye.